So what makes gold run? Only one thing, and that's big money. The big money is not buying gold. You, know, you got your, you know, your, some of the central banks, and then you got China and India. That's about it. The state of the economy today is three times, at least three x as bad as it was in 2008. Mm. Fear basically makes people run to precious metals. It's the only thing, the uncertainty factor. So the fear trade is what makes gold run. Yeah, no. What 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 I'm thinking though is, what if though, Don? Like, what if rates start rising? Would that mean? Because we need negative real interest rates for gold and silver to be in this positive position fundamentally, yet they're not going up. So what if rates start rising? What, what would that mean for the economy? And, and consequently, what would that mean for gold and silver? So um, I've been writing my newsletter now for um, I, you know, at least eight years. Um, and my newsletter is every month, and I focus on on macro, and I focus on what values, what pushes the price of gold. And I've been doing, you know, basically daily since 2004, watching gold and silver. And I personally believe that negative rates and the dollar are not the main drivers of gold. Hmm. The only thing I care about is basically all time highs breakouts and runs and a generational bull market for instance the only number right now that matters in gold is 1950 because 1950 basically signals a move to a new all-time high so what gets gold over 1950 it's not negative rates it's not a weaker dollar those those are those help those help gold they help gold from crashing it helps gold on the margins but what's that's that 1950 not, though i'm sorry to interrupt there is is that like a technical technical yeah, it's level a te technical like level that? technical level so you that's a level that you think a lot of people are looking at oh absolutely okay. they're looking at 1850 and above but 18, 18 a lot of people think 1850 is the breakout i get excited at 1850 but i think the the banksters can still push it back down under 1850 hmm. gets above 1950 i don't think they can push it back down so let, okay. let's go back to what makes gold. Yeah, that's the main makes question. What runs. makes gold go above that 1950? Yes. And when does it make it go above? Yes. That? Negative rates in the dollar won't do it. And I've been saying this since January. You know, basically, I, I said gold's trapped. And the only thing that's going to make gold become untrapped. And when I say trapped, I'm talking about an all time high because that's the only thing I care about. Because um, I want to make big alpha. You know, $1,900 gold, I don't make big alpha. I want 2200 2300 2500 gold. I want to make big alpha. So what makes gold run? Only one thing, and that's big money. Gold's a big market. You know, it's about, you know, it's 10 trillion total, but liquid gold, you're, you know, you talk about all the, uh, the bullion, you know, the money that basically moves, it's about three to four trillion. So you, you have to have people basically adding to that total, move, moving that, that three to four trillion market up. And it's not on the fringe, it's not the retail market, it's the big money market. Okay, so you have about $500 trillion in assets out there, 450, I hear, 450 trillion in assets. Most of that, most of that assets, and only 4 trillion of it's gold. So the vast, vast majority of all your assets is stocks and bonds. Hmm. Why do people sell stocks and bonds? They only sell stocks and bonds for one reason. And ironically, they don't sell, usually they don't they go to bonds when, you, when this happens, which is fear, uncertainty. Gold is an uncertainty hedge, in the, and it's an uncertainty hedge for people that are long stocks and even long bonds if they get nervous on bonds. There's something called the Exter's Pyramid, which basically has gold as, the, as basically the place to run and hide in a crisis. That's where you run and hide is gold. So what makes a crisis? What it has? What makes it so bad that people are going to sell bonds and buy gold? Right? It has to be a kind of a systemic event. So you have to have fear. So fear and uncertainty. It's an uncertainty hedge. The big money is what cr causes runs. And so if we're going to make a run to twenty two, twenty three hundred. The big money has to be on board. The big money has to sell their stocks and sell some of their bonds, and and basically go into um, gold. So the fear trade is what makes gold run. 
so what was the last run that we had, which was, uh, the last big run was in 2011, but gold basically made a run. It's, it was at $250 in nine, when 9-11 hit. 9-11, until 9-11 until hit, nobody cared about gold and silver because there was no fear. Even we even had the, the you started to see a bit of a move after the, the web the dot com bubble popped, but it really it really wasn't enough. It was nine eleven because nine eleven threatened our entire uh, way of life. It threatened our economic system. That was the that was the key. That was the thing that because we didn't know um, it pushed us into a recession in two thousand and one. Um, and we didn't know if we were going to recover. We didn't, it was a lot of uncertainty, a lot of unknown. So that's when gold started trending, was 2001. And then 2007, eight hit, and we had that financial crisis, and the fear level went up again, went up a notch. And we weren't sure if the Fed was going to be able to get our economic system back in order to that it wasn't, we weren't gonna have, you know, a great recession number two. So 2008, nine, the Fed basically injected this money and we weren't sure if it was gonna work. And so we had gold kept going from 2008 to 2011, gold kept going up because we, the uncertainty was there. But then in 2013, the genie went back in the bottle and basically fed, people became confident in the fed and so from 2013 to 2019 for six years everybody ignored gold we had this big crash in gold we had a little blip in 2016 but not much and then um in 2019 people started getting nervous again it's like okay when are we going to have it when's the next recession coming you know it'd been 10 years when's the next recession coming so gold started trending again but silver didn't confirm Phil, silver just hung hung out in the background. Silver did not confirm at all in 2019. Then COVID hit. What did silver do after COVID hit? Silver broke through its technical level at 1850. Once it broke through that technical level, and the only thing what got it through the technical level was fear. It wasn't negative rates. It wasn't the dollar. It was fear. Oh my God! Tobin's going to create a crisis with the economy. Uh, uh oh, I'm I'm nervous here. Stock market crashed hard right march 2020 so then got the fear level silver ran from 1850 to 2950 in one month one month that's what fear does mm. fear basically makes people run to precious metals it's the only thing the uncertainty factor so mm. that's what we're getting to right now the fed loses control you know, I've been talking about this on my Twitter page, Twitter you know, post for months now, this year, that basically the Fed is basically taking MMT euphoria pills. They're, they're basically you know, high on MMT euphoria. And then they, have, they also have a side of hopium pills. But the Fed, you know, they just have total confidence um, that Wall Street totally has total confidence in the Fed. The Fed's got this, everything's fine. They're going to, they, they call it the Fed put. They're not going to let the stock market crash. Janet Yellen said, we're never going to have another recession again. Don't worry, we're fine. We got you. MMT is going to work. MMT is going to work. No problems. But once inflation pops up next year, I mean, Powell had a news conference this year and he reiterated the transit, the, the inflation's trans, transitory. I mean, who believes that? We have a food crisis that's looming right now. Looming. We already have an energy crisis. Right, people are paying three, four dollars a gallon for, for for gasoline. So their 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 transportation costs have went up twenty five percent. Twenty five percent is a lot of money. Um, we have you know healthcare. Anybody who's paying healthcare, they're in, you know it's double digits, right? And now food is going to go double digit inflation. And then the other one that's double digit inflation is rent. So all of your main main uh, buckets that you have to spend every month are going up double digits. Inflation is not transitory. Mm. Inflation is actually going higher. And the supply chain is not getting fixed anytime soon. And the supply chain is going to cause even more inflationary pressures. Plus, you have labor shortages. Those aren't going to re get resolved. Um, it's basically uh, we, the, the state of the economy today is three times, at least 3x as bad as it was in 2008. Mm -hmm. At least 3x. 
and everybody's acting like it's kumbaya time that COVID's going away and the economy's coming back. Hmm. Um, and the thing that blows my mind is that the fear level in gold and silver have not returned yet. It's like we're it's like we're in 2009-10. We came out of the recession, and then gold instead of gold going to 2000, gold crashed because everything is good. That's how it kind of feels to me that the that that fear has not not at all uh, caught on on Wall Street, and the reason why is because the stock market is going nuts today. If you look at the stock market today, we had all time highs across the board. Um, it's it's unbelievable what's happening right now economically. Yeah, that's a you know you started giving me this answer when I asked what's going to make gold go up and when is it going to go up. You actually answered a, 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 an additional question that I wanted to ask, and that was a question that a, um, a member of the private community on Discord asked: is like, what do you think is going to make gold go up and, and stuff like that? So that's good. And that actually reminds me of another question that that he had. Um, <clears throat> he was talking about. You know, lots of news of countries have been coming in of of countries buying records amount, record amounts of of gold in like the past year and stuff like that, right? And and some of them are still doing it. So you know, he actually had two questions here: where where are they buying it from? Where, where are they getting that gold from? And why hasn't that impacted the price yet? Given that those are the big boys entering the market. Um. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good question. Um, so, I think the reason why they're the central banks are buying gold is because of the uncertainty level is is going up, and the things that I just explained to you um, is becoming apparent to everybody. And number two is a lack of confidence in uh, the fiat currency system. So, not just the dollar is getting weaker, but you're seeing all currencies getting weaker. Um, you know, the euro, for instance, and the yen. And, and so it's kind of a cross the board kind of, of you know, fiat currency um, problem because of all this money printing. And so they're, they're going to gold as there's like, oh, my gosh, I mean, we don't have a lot of confidence in fiat here. So what you, know, you're, you're do, we do know that, you know, fiat cash is usually the reserve currency that these banks keep right so all they're doing is just adding an asset they're just adding some gold you know and uh, russia is by far the number one they're up to 25 percent of the reserves are now in gold uh, and they they basically are um they basically can see the writing on the wall um and but, so where do they find it so basically it's in london so we have a wholesale market in london so you can buy um physical gold at basically the spot price if you buy you know five hundred thousand dollar uh, bars that's about how much they go for 27 28 pound bars they about a half a million per bar so if you buy those bars you're basically it's wholesales so they're basically buying them at spot maybe you know a little little over um but yeah that's where they're getting it hmm. oh okay. no you asked now why isn't the price going up yeah exactly um so they're they're buying the inventory that's coming out of the ground. They're, they're, we don't have. They're not buying uh, buying up a lot of excess supply. So India and China buy the bulk of. You know, we basically have about 3,500 3, tons uh, mined every year. Someone's got to buy that supply. Yeah. So uh, most of that supply is, is bought by uh, China and India because they they turn it into jewelry. Those two countries love gold jewelry. It's unbelievable. Um, and some of the Middle Eastern countries like a lot of jewelry too. It's not so much in the West, not so much in Europe. Um, and so it's really uh, coming out of supply. That's the reason why the prices haven't gone up. Now, if the retail crowd and the big money crowd, if they start buying up gold, then you might have you might see the price start going up. But we're not seeing that. The big money is not buying gold. You got your, you know, your, some of the central banks, and then you got China and India. That's about it. Hmm. Yeah, that does make sense. Um, and but, you know, I'm I'm thinking, knowing all that, because we're we're talking about gold and silver. What are we talking about?